Women's Singles World Championship final, possibly, should Okahara, the seventh seed, come through as projected. Well, a multitude of matches still to come. We're three down, seven to go on our coverage here on day two. And well, what crackers we've had so far. All of the seeds coming through so far. And next up is a, a very tall order for the Danish duo of Astrup and Rasmussen. They're up against Li Junhui and uh, Liu Yuchen from China. Two very big, tall, imposing athletes. And the third seed in these, uh, this event expected to come through in that section of the draw. And, uh, well, I can tell you that they have a three-love stranglehold over the head-to-head -head in match play against the Danes. But as always, who knows what we're going to get. There we are then, just confirmation. Their last meeting in the Indonesian Masters, won by the uh, higher-ranked Team 21-16 deciding game in that uh, Indonesian meet. But can they turn things around here? Kim Astrup and Anders Skarup Rasmussen keen to get a possible win over the third seeds in men's doubles. So there they are then, the team in red, ranked at 12th in the world. Have been as high as nine, and there's their opponents. So currently ranked fourth, just dropped the one spot recently, and uh, hit the pinnacle in the rankings in August of 2017. Did the Chinese duo in blue? Red or black? Red cold. Black. Kim uh, Chisok. Who will receive? You. You, Chen? Yeah. Yep. Receive. That's that. Thank you. Clarity from the umpire then, so it's going to be the Danes. I think is Astrup to get us underway with serve and Liu Yuchen to receive. So let the uh, two minute warm up begin then as we take our first look at uh, Li Junhui, 22 years old. And, uh, they were runners up here last year in this event and also the Singapore Open before picking up their second Super Series title in the uh, Indonesian Open of last year. They beat uh, another Chinese pairing. Played 13 tournaments. And, uh, well, since the Coming uh, runners up last year. They won the, as I say, the Indonesian Open 2017 and runners up in the Indonesian Masters as well as the Singapore Open. A couple of semi final showings as well for the Chinese duo. But they're certainly strong favourites on the head to head showings. As we take a look at the uh, Danes, ranked 12th as we speak, 29 year old uh, Anders Skarotras Musen. And his. Uh, partner Kim Astrup, the lefty on the side, ranked three years younger. As I say, they have uh, broken that uh, top ten door down by being ranked ninth earlier this month. And this is their path through. The Danes are uh, fairly comfortable in, the, well, I say comfortable, we've got second game, that was a tight <laughs> one. 50-minute encounter it was, far from it. But uh, he didn't drop the game in the end, so uh, that'll bode well. Amanda Ballam of England in the chair, presiding over this one. And uh, her service judge, Alan Potter of England as well. So, Morton, it's uh, a tough ask it for is. your compatriots. For my two students. Right, yes. I've been coaching both of them right for years. Only when they hit the good shots, right? <laughs> Only when they hit the good shots, yes. <laughs> Otherwise, I t completely have no responsibility. <laughs> now, I've actually been coaching them uh, for some years, both of them. They uh, are from Jutland, both of them. And uh, I was the, uh, the coach of the, the National Centre there. 
So I've been working with these two guys quite a lot, and they are, they're lovely kids. They're really good guys. And uh, they've done well, get as far as the top ten in the world. And uh, as you say, this is a tour order. Proud moment for you. It is, but in a way, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to see whether they can play a few soft shots, because if they get into this fast and furious flat, they will get in trouble. Let's see how it goes. Men's doubles round of 16 clash just about to begin then. The Danes, Astrup and Rasmussen take on Lee and Liu. Tight. Kim couldn't kill it. Got it done in the end, though. Good start from the your countryman. Six foot five frame of Lee Junwei having its way, bulldozing that smash. Watch out! That's good placement. Morton, let's hear from you. What, what, what would be your sort of tactical considerations here against two men who love to flat hard drive fast and furious in blue? First of all, they, uh, the two Danes have to play more soft shots. And that's what Kim was doing here. Instead of going into that exchange straight away, lifting it and waiting for a better chance to counter-attack it, which I think is good. On the attacking side, I think there's, there's no doubt that... Um, uh, Lee uh, Jun Huey is, is, uh, is not as strong in his defense, he's the taller one of the two athletes from China. His defense is not so strong. And, uh, you know, given the opportunity, that's the one they have to go for. Well closed. Got up to that one with yep. urgency. Just made it. Well, I like the, the way the two Chinese players are playing. They're, they're very steady in what they're doing and they have a very professional attitude. They work so hard. I watched um, a final when they played in Indonesia against uh, Gideon and Sukumuri. And that was, a, that was a mentally very, very tough game. They were mentally fighting one another. And uh, eventually the Indonesians uh, went on to win it. Uh, but I still think a lot of credit to these two Chinese players. They, they did a good match. And uh, I think especially um, Yu Chen uh, was the one uh, standing to the left here. He was really playing well. And that, what we already seen here is 7-2. It's really early days still. But the defensive shots that the mistakes has been made is by Lee. Yeah, men's doubles, Gideon and Sakamujo, the uh, team to beat. Top seeds right at the uh, they look top of the draw. Very really comfortable at the yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Incredible, those two. Otherworldly speed. Oh, yeah. Kevin Sakamujo. And if we look at the other side of the Danish pair as well, I, I think that uh, they, they play a good, clever game, they have a good understanding. But they haven't won a lot of tournaments, to be very honest. Uh, they, they, 
even though they're close to top 10, they're not really winning in the, uh, in of, the, in the of the top ones. The first Super Series they, they, where they got to the final was um, actually here in India, wasn't it? Uh, they got to the final and uh, they lost, yes. They, they lost actually to Gillian and Sukumoyu in the uh, Indian Open uh, Super 500 in January. But that's the first final they've been into. And uh, when I look at them play, they, they sort of lack that really big power smash, the big one that put people under pressure. Or well, like the sort of Kevin Jordan type of speed. That would be nice to have. Yeah. But they work hard, the two guys, they really, really work hard. They have a good understanding. They never blame one another. Why are you doing this and why are you not doing that and all that. There is a complete support all the way through. The Danish coach is Kim. Well, the Danes are cutting themselves very, very well here from the off. They have a three-point lead. And there's a keenness in their body language and intent. A buckling smash from the taller of the two Chinese athletes. I always have them down. The seeds as being very good poker players because facially they give nothing away. They're deadpan. <laughs> and that's imposing in itself when you don't get a read, you don't get an in. You just can't see what they're thinking. Super play from Kim Astrup. He was very, very alert to that. Well done. Lovely flat hard drive to the hole on the court. Causing a hesitancy right down the middle of the Danes, that one. Eight, ten. Play. Well done, Kim Astrup. Well played. So 11-8, the Danes roar their way to the mid-game interval. Yes, we have left down there. So we know how to lift down there. So we know how to lift down there. So we know how to lift down there. So we know Han udfordrer uh, Leo stadigvæk. Ikke? Ligger vi lidt under spil over ham. Og husk nu, så slår han ikke hårdt på den første. Og så behøver vi ikke at trykke tryk på den lægge den foran igen. Ja. Ja. Vi, kan godt vi, lidt lidt ja, vi kan godt give den lidt mere højde, når vi løfter til gengæld. Vi har stadig ikke en højde. So the Chinese duo won't be pressing the panic button yet. It's been a very competitive opening game, this, but the Danes with a slender three-point advantage here. Can they hold on and really trouble opponents that they've never beaten before? This is their fourth meeting. Once again, when we saw the interval here between uh, 
uh, the Danish combination and their coach, Kim Nielsen, then uh, it's not, as I get, again, as I say, it's, it's nice to see that they have this communication, they have this dialogue, what to do and what not to do. And they have really uh, done their homework. I could hear when this is happening, the, the opponent is doing so and so, and they've really been, you know, reading on their case. And uh, hopefully for, for the Danish combination, they will win it today. <laughs> Some grunting to, to go with it as well, just a little bit of added pressure. But that's why I say uh, Liu Yuchen is, is, is really the one to watch. The, this, the guy here at the net, he's, he's playing some really nice shots. Mm -hmm. Now it's a little softness up there, doesn't he, at the front of the court, which is yeah, very subtle and very, very effective when they're adding so much pace to the majority of their shots. Those deft touches from Liu are just uh, exemplary. And I guess that takes them as a team to the next level. So, three points in a row then since the uh, turnaround. <laughs> this is not coming back. <laughs> no, it's not. It's just Lee. Uh, Kim is making a mistake. You know, the, I think this one he's playing there, that's a mistake. He's, he's got to lift it higher or go cross court or there are many options. This is too flat right into the racket. And of course, he's setting up his opponent uh, uh, and, and his partner has got no chance on it. Five in a row for the Chinese team. The seeds. Yes. Yeah, they need to block it. The coach is shouting at them. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's he shouting, Mon? Did you hear it? Yeah, he's saying, you know, we've got to block it. We have to move forward. We have to stop this. Mm. Don't give them anything to hit. Mm. <laughs> we had that exchange there, Kim was really testing it. And don't get confused, the coach is called Kim as well. So oh, there's okay. a Kim, there's yeah, a Kim yeah. Astro, Kim but Nielsen. Kim Nielsen, yes. And Jakob Hoy down there as well, right? Uh, Jakob Hoy is there as well, yes. What's his capacity in the Danish team these days, do you know? Uh, Jakob Hoy is, um, he's assisting um, national coach, okay. just like Kim is also assisting uh, right. Right. national coach. Yeah. The, the chief coach is Kennedy Honesty. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, Victor's man. Yeah, it's a good run of points for, for China here. Seven points in a row, 15-11 up. The Danes really have to do something. They have to stop this run of points. Yeah, seven in a row, as you say. That's really going some. Hesitancy. Paid the price. 16, 11. Kim. Well, he went with his gut there and trusted himself. He backed himself on that leave. Thought for a second he was going to intervene. He's way out. Keep it, play on. <laughs> What's happening, Mon? <laughs> it's funny to be able to speak Danish now and again. Um, Are you allowed to say it on air? <laughs> <laughs> I, 
the coach is just asking uh, Kim to, to do something, and Kim is saying, you know, I can't do it, he's serving down the net, you know, what, what can I do about it? <laughs> Well, 10 points in a row for Team China. Yeah. And it stops there, suggests Rasmussen. 12, 18. That is a serious run of points. It is. A run of 10. You don't see too many of them at this level. No. This game is 11 gone. from 12 now for the Chinese. Yeah. 19, the game 12. is gone for the Danes. They have to regroup and get back into the second. <laughs> Super play. It was the cross uh, net shot 20, prior to this that points. really 12. put them under pressure, the Danes here. <laughs> Liu Chen in the front court is uh, menacing. That's out, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, they're insistent that they, they, they think it's in. First challenge of the match, I think. It is. I tell you what, it's been a miraculous turnaround from these two. Having been 11-8 down at the mid-game interval, to be in this predicament, only yielding one point since, is uh, outstanding. Challenge yeah, it's good, a very good one high standard. Remaining. So it's over. 13, 20, play. <laughs> 14, 20. is out by quite a way. I'm happy to put my neck on the line here. <laughs> yeah, I think it's out too. Yeah. Seemed the challenge spurned out of desperation, but there's no need to challenge at this stage. <laughs> yeah, country mile. Challenges. Yes. How many kilometers? 1.6. No <laughs> You're on the 15, ball. You had a good sleep. <laughs> yes, I had a good sleep. Yeah, I'm afraid 16, it's, um, I think it's a little bit too little too late. Yeah. Um, but of, of course the scores look nicer. But those uh, 10 points, uh, they were really, really damaging. so far right there he had it all that point yeah, really well played by Kim. so trying so hard to detain the third seats for a little longer possibly even launch the ambush and turn this game around the Danes declared it would be fast and furious coming in here and it certainly is that it's living up to its billing this one but it's the third seeds Lian 
Nui, who, Liu, who take the opening game. 21 points to 17 after 19 minutes played. Jeg tror, det der, det der gør, at jeg bliver susik af lige den periode, det er fordi, at der er ingen, der er, som det, det plejer. Men altså, det er sikkert forringet. Han slagter til den ham. Ja, det gør han. Men jeg synes også, at vi kommer faktisk til, at selvom vi har god position, så kommer vi til at spille lidt for defensivt og spille for meget over. Især når du ligger højt, så kan du godt stadig holde ind i til at tid, og så klarer du at lige, og han vil udfordre dig. Ikke forvente, at den kommer over. Anders, så her til sidst, så får du kostet med igen. Så får du løftet på den næste, og så er det, at vi går igennem. Start of game two, then just Court about to get one, underway here. Lee and one, Liu. Taken the opener. 21 points to 17. With a run of 10 points midway through that opening game. Really proving pivotal Second in the game. end. Can the seeds hold on here? More newer listening attentively on uh, the change of ends. What was being said from the Danish camp? Anna said, uh, Anna uh, Rasmussen said that he um, he got a little bit insecure. He was really uh, feeling the pressure when uh, the Chinese was scoring those run of ten points, and kind of apologised to to partner, saying sorry, I, I shouldn't have done it, but I just didn't feel good. Um, but again, it's taken from the positive points, uh, trying to to get back into what they did at the end of this, uh, the first game. And, Play with more variation, try to get the attack, hold the attack, play more soft shots, and everything what we just discussed was actually what he was saying. Down. Miscommunication between the seeds there. Neither of them ended up going for that one. Watch it's long. Yeah. Uh, leave it, leave it. Yeah. Yeah. King was shouting, Higa, Higa. Is that right? <laughs> no. Higa, Higa. Okay. It, was, it was with a K. Right. It means watch it. That's a great call from Kim Astra. Kim Astra is really playing well. He's defending well. Steady, no mistakes. Keeping uh, the attack. Well done. Solid. Fancy finish too.
But the Danes really have to watch out for Liu Yuqian because as soon as he starts going into it, then um, then trouble starts because when he 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 have a tendency to to stand back for a little while I've noticed and then suddenly he takes control of the partnership and sort of drives it in, a, in the right direction and when he's doing that he, he's doing really well so the Danes have to watch out when the uh, Chen is starting and I think he will do that soon 2-7 let's see how, how it goes certainly a spirited start to this uh, second game for the Danes Challenge. Well, it felt like it was going a long way out, but I must admit we were kind of obscured from our commentary position. It's a fair bit to look down on the court from here. Yeah, and then be accurate. Oh, that's in now. It is in. Challenge of successful. Just a little bit too off balance there, Kim Askup. We have a look at it now, catching up. Got four points in a row. Five, seven. And I still think it's it's down to Yu Chen how he's the way he's serving the the pressure he's adding on. Yeah, he really has been a force to be reckoned with, Liu Yu Chen. Well, six, yes, hands six, down from seven. the Lions judge. How many is that in a row now? Five. That's interesting because there's been big, big runs of, of yes. points. Yes. Yeah, we had a run of 10 for the Chinese duo in the opening game, which is really quite unusual at this level. It is, especially men's doubles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Frankly, anything above, say, four is quite a standout. Okay. Okay, come here. Okay. You must not delay the service. Firm umpiring. Players like that, they know where they stand. shot down the line challenging the athleticism here of the taller of the two Chinese players and he yielded an error three-point advantage for the Danes it's going more left Oh! 
turnaround. Yeah. The Chinese seeded players there, awesome. That was really well. Again, Liu Yuchen is finishing this one off. First he's moving forward here, look at this, and then moving back again, and that smash there is awesome. But it just brings back to the point I've said earlier. The two Danes, they're not shy of working, you can see that. They work very, very hard. They're prepared to go the full distance. But how many times did they smash in this, just in this rally? Did they have five, six, eight smashes? And it's not denting the defense mm. at all on the other side. Mm. And that is the problem at the end of the day, is that the smash is simply not hard enough. Mm. Is it that, or is the Chinese defense just so immaculate uh, because perhaps they're used to playing at a higher tempo? I don't know. No, I, yeah. I, I still think that the Danish attack is lacking a little yes. bit. Yes. And how do you get that speed up? Is that just a rehearsed thing? You, you've got to get in the gym or being looser? Or? I'm telling you, they're trying everything yeah, to, yeah. To, yeah, of course. to make it better. Of course, of this course. gym is everything, but yeah. there's just a limit to, yes. to what a person can do. Yeah, potential is exceeded, perhaps, yeah. And of course, here in blue, you've got two outstandingly tall athletes within their discipline, right? Yeah, and always hard hitting. Yeah, and, and, well, height accounts for a lot of power. Yeah. And there we are, Lee was exposed there despite the full length dive. Let's hope he's not winded himself. He's, uh, no, he's, okay. he's a big unit to get back off the court, but he might have uh, grazed his knee a little there, but this is terrific. Top badminton all round, 11-9 the day's lead. Just getting taped here in the interval by the tournament doctor. Well, hopefully that's just fairly prevent preventative. But I tell you what, doctor, I hope you've got enough tape because he's a very <laughs> he's a big unit, isn't he? And a and a long, long leg to. Uh, and it's just good around time. the knee. Yeah. Hopefully, just a little bit of uh, tendonitis. No more than that. We hope. He's a very slender frame. Sorry. He is. He passed me in the flesh uh, at the hotel yesterday. He's, uh, there's not a lot to him. Very lithe and athletic. Uh, back to tactics, Morn. Any, anything else that the Danes have kind of done to keep the upper hand in this second game, albeit quite slim? Um, no, they were discussing the usual stuff, the, the, the surf and return. It's always the big discussion in, in men's doubles. It's how, how you serve, how you return. That's the main issue. And of course, they were going into that and going back to basics and saying, remember, we agreed to do so and so and so and so. We talk about the lengths that the Chinese go to to get the edge. Would they perhaps be listening in, maybe, thinking that you might be given some pearls about exactly what they might say on serve and return so they can pick up on it? I don't, yeah, I don't know. I mean, we know they watch a lot of video footage. <laughs> yeah, but I don't think so. No. I don't think so. This is the spur of the moment. 11, 9. Wait for yeah, I had to wait for him to play the court, though. 
A little bit of pleasant banter with the umpire there. 11-9, they lead in the second game, then the Danes. Can they hold on? Found yeah. a way through that time. That one. He's yeah. a brute of a man, isn't he? And the Scarlet Musa. Yes. Heavy build. Heavy. Power laden. He, he used to play uh, singles as well. He was um, the best singles player in, in his junior years for, for his age group. And um, he was very, very hard to persuade to, you know, be professional about it. And, you know, put some effort into it. And he was just having a laugh the whole time. Yes. Yeah. Then he was given a break uh, to play one of the league matches against one of the or top pairs in, in, in Denmark, and he won it with his partner. From that day, he's been training twice a day. Wow! It's quite amazing that? turnaround. Yeah, that's really a turnaround. Yeah. Very Always good. very gifted, good player, fantastic sense of humour. Yeah, and um, just a good guy. Yeah, and, and what about uh, personal insights into Kim Astrup as well, the left hand there? Any, any uh, character? Yeah, same thing in, in, in a way. He is he is also um, really easygoing, um, much more quirky in his way of thinking when it comes to to, to badminton. He is the one who's playing these odd shots now and again, and sometimes you can't follow him. Why did he do that? But there's always a sense to it. So uh, so he's he's a very gifted, talented player. He's got a quirky mind. Coming from a very, very small place in, in West Jutland. And, uh, you know, he just used to go down to the local club and play a bit now and again. And Lovely insight. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. I used the first time I had him for training, I, I remember saying, you can do better than this. I did my best, he said. Really, really. <laughs> yeah. And what age was that? He was probably 15, 16 years old. Wow, wow, <laughs> very nice. Great dig there. Couldn't quite manage that one, Rasmussen. Okay, I'm just... Hello, come on, man. Thank you. So the seeds, Li and Liu, have uh, 13, swung this second game around as well. They did that opener. Well, I can understand why Lee is desperate to challenge here. Yes. Marching towards the umpire keenly. The body language suggests that he is insistent this was in. It's close. Yeah, it's kind of very, yeah. very close. Very tight. Very tight. I'm with him here, Morton. Uh, Morton? Yeah, I, I felt this was right on the line. Looking from here. Oh, well done, Lions judge. I eat my hat. <laughs> Your old hat, yes. One yes. challenge remaining. Service over. 13 all play. from the net there, Kim Astrup, very alert, very uh, strong, flat, hard strike in the middle of that rally that really turned it around. A moment of inspiration and the fist pump to boot. 15, 13. 
And again, they regain their composure and hit the front. winning this one, I think that's too long. Oh, that's in. Oh, you're as bad as me. That's in. A couple of unforced errors from the commentary box. <laughs> unforced errors. <laughs> I like that one. 14, 15. Play. So it's a tight second game. Cross block off the back end, just missing from Liu. So it's over. 16, 14. It's a strong wrist to be able to get that one cross court. Kept it tight. 17, 14. Oh, it's interesting watching Kim Astrup there off that serve. He kind of looked the other way as he hit it, sort of thing. Very right? deceptive. Uh, it was too, li too good lift, really catching that one there is really nice. And now the opportunity is there, and of course he's kicking himself for, for missing that one. Yeah, that could be a game changer. He could pay a heavy price for that. Well, I think the Chinese combination is doing really well because the Danish pair is playing well at the moment, but still somehow the Chinese pair is in there. They're just two points behind, they're still in there with the chance. Even when the pressure is this good, I think that vouch for very good quality and i do love when the big man lee just yells out a roar almost prior to hitting the shuttle it's uh, it's imposing he's a character indeed they all are in their own right would like to upset him Seeds. Again, good job. Doing a great job keeping these players in their place. Yes. Again, the menacing roar pre shot. And, 19, yes. and suddenly you sense they're closing in on the W. <laughs> Danish pair's got the backs to the wall. 
Lost four points in a row here. Terrific point from Shokor one. Yeah. Lee and Liu having the last laugh again, and it brings up three match points. The attack is so solid. The Danes are defending and defending, but they can't get out of it. And then eventually the Chinese are getting it down. It's really good play by the two Chinese players. with the miss on the match point opportunity and it goes to Lian Liu of China, the third seed, safely through last year's beaten finalists. Get to the quarterfinals yet again here at the All England Open in this Chinese-Danish clash. They've come through safely. 21-17, 21-17 in 46 minutes. Very competitive match that was. What a terrific match unfolding before our eyes here on Show Court One. In this Super Thousand event here, the All England Open, only one of three. The seeds safely through to the quarterfinals. Lee and Louis. Liu. 